Well, hello again, designer toy collectors. So I bought these two uh, Sticky Monster Lab minis a while back, and uh, this one had a paint imperfection here. And, but they're still pretty cool. I have these little designer 112 scale chairs, and so even though it's weird to have working characters in a sitting position, since I have these designer chairs, it's not so bad. So as time goes by and things dwell in one's mind, instead of buying these all singly and opened, if they're open they cost more because you know exactly what you're getting, I decided I'm just going to buy the whole case because uh, there's 10 other ones I don't have. I might have some duplicates and if I'm really lucky I'll get the secret chase, the uh, big honcho and an egg guy in a chair. <laughs> Anyways, this is the latest release, to my understanding, of these Sticky Monster Lab uh, things here. Let's see if there's anything worth looking at on this box. Not really. Uh, it's just a display box for stores to sell single packs. So let's get a knife over it here. Okay. So I'm going to open these in, in order. I'm going to actually leave this case here because I'm curious if anyone else buys this case and if, we're, if I'm lucky, if I get that secret one I want to know where it is inside this case yeah, because maybe they actually just put them all right here or all right there or wherever, right? but then if you have bought this case and you got the secret chase and it's in a different position then everyone will know <coughs> it's totally random, right? okay, so there was tape holding that together but I obviously cut it and then, uh, yeah, this is supposed to display like that. Right. Alright, well, anyways, let's start with uh, slot number one here. Just a quick look here. The box is pretty simple. There's a hol hologram, and this is the manufacturer and licensee, I guess. Okay, Sticky Monster Lab is like a graphic and animation company. On the box, it tells you which ones you're, you should be getting. And, uh,. Open from the bottom? No, I guess it's meant to be open this way, right? There's a little red pull tab. There's a little glue as well. That seems weird. Why would they have the glue as well? Okay. So, in this spot we have Greymon. It looks like he's selling hot dogs or something like that. So inside we have these, uh, you know, foil bags. There is a tiny hole in here you could peek in there, but I already know I want this one because I don't have it. So I'm just gonna open this up. And then it comes in another bag, which uh, seems kind of odd, right? So now I gotta get some scissors. You know what, I think I'm going to just open all of them and then I'll get this box out of here and we can look at them uh, separately without all this, this stuff here. So I'm going to leave that in there. Just open this, open this, open this. Right. So I guess you shouldn't mess with the glue there, it's not necessary. Get this convoluted folding thing. What do we have in here? There's some desiccant. Where's the sticker? Oh, there it is. We have the Birdie Mon uh, that's working at a Shell gas station, pretty much. So that's a that's a highlight, I think, for me. I like. <laughs> I don't know. I like things car related. Just look at my channel. It's mostly about diecast car models. But I do still like action figures, and in this case, just figurines that don't actually do any action. But these are cool. Alright. Okay. Where is the sticker? The sticker is on different sides. This is a uh, Blue Mon, which is a. Uh, Looks like he's delivering, uh, he's a pizza guy, Pizza Hut delivery guy. Alright, 
right, so I'm not even gonna make you watch. There's no reason for you to watch me open those bags. I'm gonna take them out there, all right? There's a sticker on this one. Okay, Longmon. All right, I guess I won't even open those bags. So let's get these folded down. Tear these next four. Done the math, there's 12 in a case. Okay. I guess we just gotta find the sticker. This one we have Sausage Mon. Okay. This one we have Bulky Mon, the one I already have. These are really weird boxes, the weird folding mechanism. This one, we have Birdmon, that's a highlight, which we'll get into later. This one, we have Bigmon, a construction guy. Okay, four, four more to go. He's like a supermarket checkout guy, or that looks like a laser scanner, a barcode scanner or something. Or maybe he works at a yeah, department store. We have Mintmon. He looks like a Starbucks employee. Two more. Come on, egg guy, please. Yellowmon, the McDonald's guy I already have. Last chance. Come on. May the force be with me. Where's the sticker? Nope. This is just a normal case. Oh well. Dogman. He's like a FedEx guy. Alright, let me uh, reset here. I'll get this box out of the way. We'll get all these figures out of the bag. Or you know what? Maybe you want to see them. Uh, hold on. Okay, so that's the order they came out of this case. Uh, I didn't open up these two because I already have them, right? I guess I'll just resell them. But if you look at the promotional pick, this order has nothing to do with the case order. So don't think that you'd pick that box, you'd get the McDonald's guy right here. Right? It's, it's not the same as the promotional picks. I'm not sure if it's random case to case. That'd be something interesting to know if anyone else has bought this case as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start uh, from the back just so I can get rid of the bags. I left, <coughs> I left these in the clear bags because I want to see if there are any quality control problems like this guy had. I'm sure maybe some of you guys would be interested in that too. These aren't ultra expensive designer toys, but it's not, they're not super cheap either. I mean, for value, you're, I think, much better off getting a mini GT car model. There's just some more parts and more paint and better details. Okay, so this is the Redmon guy, and first we got the uh, scanner here. You know what, let me move this camera inwards and get some better light here. Okay, so with the laser scanner, you know, this looks like a 1-6 scale accessory. You know, if, if you had like a 1-6 scale action figure, possibly a large 1-12 scale action figure, it could be working for those guys. There's actually a little face on this scanner, and he's got little legs and feet. That just is part of the design thinking with these uh, small, sticky Monster Lab figures. Anyways, nice gray and darker gray as well. So, oh, not bad. <coughs> Sorry, dry throat. My voice is cracking. Alright, so Redmon here. It kind of reminds me of Skechers or something. Uh, but he's got a baseball cap, he's got a little button up top there. And then he's obviously red. He's a red monster. There's a very fine break between the shirt and the and the rest. I don't know if that's a masking tape because I can feel a ledge right there. Or if the head is actually a separate piece. And maybe that's how they get such a clean break in the paint. 
But here, I mean, this is definitely a continuous piece, and it's such a sharp break. That's why I like these things. They're mostly very well painted, but as you can see, this one is painted pretty well. The little button-down shirt, the logo, and he's got some old tennis socks on with the green stripes, and the SML copyright there. All right, so he looks cool. Let's put him back here. Ugh. That's just going to fall again. I'll leave it alone. This next one is Mintmon. Alright, starting with the coffee cup. It's obviously, you know, that they're spoofing on real brands, even though that's not a Starbucks logo, just the green is the Starbucks green. Oddly, there's no sipping uh, recess, you know, or, or like a straw recess. That would have been nice to have, but it would be harder to harder to mold. No, maybe not if they pulled the mold from the top. Anyways, the guy's got a little feet as usual. Yeah, separate piece down there. And then we got uh, a mint colored monster. And again, really fine delineation with the black shirt. He's got the tennis socks on. They, they all have three fingers and one in the, one thumb. And then this guy has a separate uh, apron, and it's kind of rubbery, but it is glued in place. Would have been nice if they didn't glue these things on. And as I've complained before, would it be nice if the arms would move, but then they wouldn't be so flush. That's probably why they'll do it. It wouldn't be as clean of a design. <clears throat> all right, so he's got the sticky, uh, whatever, plain face logos there as well and then a collared shirt looks like it's a gray or something like that okay very nice nice co nice QC on that one we've seen the french fry guy before you can look up my video on that one <coughs> this next one is a uh, dogmon working as a FedEx kind of a uh, delivery guy <coughs> man dry throat Alright, start with the box. Yeah, it's a separate piece for the feet down there. And it says Mountain X. <clears throat> the face there and a little bit of a tape printing on there as well. That's not a, not a nice touch having the tape going across. And Mon X again. Yeah, so that's a cool box. I like that one. The tape really makes it nicer. It looks like hair or something right there, right? Okay. So then Dogmon here, he's like a pink color. All these figures have a really flat matte finish. You know, there's almost no gloss to them, which is also a reason why I like them. Because, you know, real animals, humans and dogs, they don't have glossy, mostly glossy appearances. So that's why I like these matte finishes. So the logo here looks good. Here and here, same graphic outline, just different colors here. And so it's like a, it's a purplish uh, color scheme. I don't know what your screen is going to show, but for me it looks purple and pink. Through my phone it looks like a lot lighter, but to the naked eye everything is a little bit darker. It's a darker pink, darker purple than my camera screen is showing. But again, my screen isn't color corrected probably and no, neither is yours, so in her end it might end up looking green. All right, uh, this next one is Sausage Mon. We can only assume what he does. <clears throat> All right, well, he's selling sausages and a bun. So this little hot dog character has got the plain face, so a little ketchup on his belly and then separate legs again, and the bun is a separate piece. It's not much uh, sprue. Well, there it is, actually. Every time I say something, something bad happens. I apologize for my dry fingers and fingernails. Okay, so Sausage Mon. He definitely looks like a, a hot dog color. And I like that the little end here is a little head. Hair is that little tie-off, you know, they have on real sausages. And then his visor is yellow and it's a separate piece, but it's glued in, glued in place. <clears throat> And then, uh, you know, same collar, a hot dog logo, black socks this time around, and black pants. 
What's weird is there's no like graphic going across there. So was he just naked down here? <laughs> it's kind of weird, right? Why would it? Well, whatever. All right. Again, we've done this video before this guy. So <coughs> if you're curious, what is this table? Well, if you've ever ordered a delivery pizza, you should know what this table is. So keep those if you want to, you know, make a little diorama for these little guys. Okay, what is next in line? We have this Birdmon, this uh, highlight guy. We it should be a highlight. Now this guy's actually got like three different accessory pieces. Accessories. He's got three tools, a toolbox, in himself. So very nice. All right. So we got a silver hammer with the claw on the back. There we go. Yeah, it would have been nice if the handle was a different color. Uh, this makes sense. All silver for the uh, the wrench, and then an adjustable wrench silver again so those are nice and then the toolbox we got the plain face some legs sticking out and then uh, yellow latches uh, all right the hinges back there a little molding flash and then the handles I think the handles are a separate piece you gotta be kidding me I don't think this opens you'd think it would I don't want to break it well, that's oh, there. I think it's a sticky paint, or is this? Am I breaking this right now? No, never mind. Okay, so thankfully it does open, but it is just a friction hinge. There's no like, there's no like metal rod going through the hinge. You know, it's just this could pop off. So, so at least that's nice that, you know, if you don't want to run the risk of losing these tools, they actually do fit in there. So that's cool. And it snaps back together. So that's the best one so far. Accessory wise. And possibly figure wise. At least today. So this says Monsta. Hmm. What is that supposed to be? Um, a spoof of. Is there like a construction company? Or fix it yourself? <clears throat> I mean a fix it delivery service? Similar to this? Please leave a comment. Okay, he's obviously a green bird. He's got wings and uh, sleeves and then a tiny little nose here, yellow, and then a plain face. So, and then he's got different colored green sock, sock bands. Really pointy tail. Pretty nice. It seems to be a seam line here, but not up here so much. So, I do believe maybe... <coughs> Sorry. Maybe... I don't know. Maybe they glue it together and paint it and shave off the seam? Is that a seam there? I don't know. Or, or this is one piece and these are two pieces? Anyways, it's really nicely done. I like that one. Alright, next up is uh, Big Mon. And he seems to be a construction person. Uh, I have to go get a drink of water. I paused it, but I'm still all messed up. Maybe some cat hair in my throat. <coughs> Okay, the traffic cone, it's definitely, I get a neon orange vibe from it. Again, I don't know what you're going to see on your end, but it's definitely a very vibrant orange. Lighter than I thought it would be, though. Plain face, the feet and stuff. The cone, it, oh, is it hollow or not? Yeah, it's too bad that it isn't hollow. It's weird that they wouldn't make that hollow. But anyways, there we go with the cone. <coughs> And yeah, he's a very sizable monster, one of the bigger ones for sure. And then he's got the cool monster teeth, and then some U-shaped eyes like he's sleeping. Monster City, you know that reminds me of the Monsters Inc. Uh, their logo, that uh, Disney movie or Pixar movie, I don't know if it was Disney. The horns are nice, uh, I don't know if those horns are molded in or separate pieces. I think they must be separate pieces. A little light's getting through there. That's fine. It's good in place. And then this is nice. The neon orange. But also this is silver. I thought it was gray at first. But no, these are clearly silver bands. 
painted nicely nice crisp logo <coughs> yeah so you can see this is a different paint app here's an app on the back and another on the front you can see it overlap so yeah very nicely done the overlaps there they're all well maybe not I take it back that one's a little bit off okay so green uh, bands on the socks yeah all right so again it's weird these guys don't wear pants they're just they only wear shirts we don't know where their private bits are though anyways <clears throat> okay let's go over here so this one is a uh, long mon <coughs> Uh, I definitely have some allergies now, so I apologize. So, looks like a Krispy Kreme employee. We got a, you know, a bunch of sprinkles and the face in there. And then the little legs. And it's a chocolate top and uh, regular dough on the back. Really nicely done. Okay. And then, yeah, clearly that is like the Krispy Kreme outline, but it says Monster. Okay, so Monster Cream, or what's it say underneath it? Monster Donuts, okay. This one, you can clearly see the head is a separate piece. There's a gap there. So that's how they get the crisp break, I think, on all these things. The head is a separate piece. <clears throat> I wonder if this is a separate piece, then. I do feel a ledge there. Okay, well anyways, uh, this one's got some orange socks to match the uh, collar and all that. A little baseball cap again. So, that one's alright. Not the greatest though in the set, I think. This next one here is Blue Mon with the Pizza Hut kind of stuff. bag is a little bit heat sealed oddly. Yeah. Hopefully don't scratch the bag up. <clears throat> Alright, so we have a pizza box. Pretty thick plastic. And it says Pizza Mon with the Pizza Hut outline there. And there's literally a piece of pepperoni pizza with a face and uh, some feet. Although, I'm not sure if I'm really sold on the cheese being so super white. Mm, oh well. I think it would have been more yellow. It would give better contrast in the box if the face was yellow instead of white. But yeah, unfortunately the box doesn't fold. It's just open like that. Okay, <clears throat> so Blue Mon. Oh, from here, he, it looks like the cap is covering his face, but his, he actually does have a full face visible. The Pizza Mon is in green, there's a little face on that logo as well. I feel like this graphic is not as crisp as the other ones. Maybe it's just a color choice. So there's the break in the head again. A little roughness back here. Hmm, casting problems or something? Alright. Eh, I don't know. It's alright. I like the little scooter helmet he's got on. Okay, this next one is uh, Birdie Mon. Working as a... So that's interesting. The green one is called Bird Mon, but this one is called Birdie Mon. So two different birds. <clears throat> Alright, so we got this regular gasoline. Monster Chief 87 Octane. Actually, that's misspelled, right? Monster... Monst... Er, sir? Monst... Sir? It's like there's too much... Too, one extra S in there. So a face back there. This panel is actually ahead of that paint, just like a real gas pump, an old classic gas pump if you're not familiar. And then the silver looks good, there's chamfered in there. Uh, SMLL instead of shell. And then the feet, yeah, bottom piece there. Back, there's really not much of anything. Just a panel with some molding flash. But this is cool, a really flexible hose. But this doesn't come off, unfortunately. It would have been nice if that was a separate piece. It, it is a separate piece, but I wish it wasn't glued in place. Molding screw action. Alright, so this is clearly the best accessory out of this in this whole set. 
is huge and it's got their little hose and all. <clears throat> now let's see about Birdie Mon himself or herself. So we got a little, you know, pointy nose again, a plain face. We got the shell baseball cap there, or SMLL, same color shirt, uh, graphic, just different color, matching uh, stripes on the socks. Okay, arms. Let me get this. Oh, so this guy has regular humanoid kind of arms, whereas Birdmon literally has wings. But the body otherwise looks identical, right? So those are the differences. <coughs> Last one, Greymon. Well, accessories. <clears throat> so Greymon's got three sausages or hot dogs or something like that in sauce. And uh, or maybe it's pasta. Anyways, three faces on each. And then the plate is obviously green, separate piece. Nothing printed on the bottom or anything like that. Hmm. Oh, I think this looks Korean, kind of. This S, this small Sticky Monster Lab is from Korea. It's There's a good chance this is actually a Korean restaurant. And this is that Topoki stuff. You know, the, the rice extrusions, like mochi. But I think it's called Topoki. I'm mispronouncing that, obviously. But they're pretty good to eat, actually, in real life. I, I do like those things. Okay, so apron is a separate piece, but again, good in place, and uh, the collar at least is like stretchy and flexible. Plain face here, person is gray. It's a bit of a gap on them. This is the biggest gap yet. That's really bad. I can't squeeze it further. So luckily that thing is in the covering up that gap. Baseball hat with some logo, and now this is baseball hat. There's actually a blackout here in the back. Uh, <clears throat> matching stripes here. Pink, collar, pink shirt and pink, well, maybe it's an orange collar. We got some gray in here for the arms. The, he's wearing gloves because it's ser food service. Okay, we'll go down there. So interesting. Well, at least uh, I didn't really want this one, but it actually has a good amount of paint contrast. So it turned out better than I thought. So let me get these things rearranged. Alright, so if you're unfamiliar, all these things literally are stickers. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. but uh, So, I have a bunch of, you know, 112 scale chairs. I can't say who made most of these chairs. These are like a model kit, these folding chairs. But these designer chairs here, I forget. I bought them over, they're, they're quite old. They must be at least 10 to 15 years old. So, I, I don't know. Uh... You'll just have to look up like 112 scale designer chairs and see what comes up. I'm sure there's many new ones out there as well. <clears throat> so, even though this is called the working series, they're all sitting down. So, for me, I guess they're working, but they're all on lunch break right now. So, with the chairs, I think it works out. It makes sense now. I'm okay with it. Uh, I mentioned this in the previous video about these two. I think it just makes sense. If you're going to have working figures, they should be standing up. Most people are standing in service-related jobs, right? Okay, guys. Well, I appreciate you guys watching. I'm not sure what I'm going to do as far as buying more of these. I really want that egg character, but now I have every one of these and two duplicates already. So what am I going to do? The problem is I don't see anyone selling that egg character uh, anywhere even at an inflated price they just it's a secret chase chase figure thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next sticky monster lab video cheers